Hello, this is Guillermo Puyol and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Google content experiment so you can split test uh, your landing pages. So I'm here logged into my Google Analytics account and you'll see here under content there's a tab that says experiments. Basically what the content experiments are uh, or what they allow you to do is to display uh, a different page to a certain percentage of the traffic that comes to your website. So for example, let's let's say that you're driving traffic to an opt-in page where people can put their email address to get more information and you're trying to test the headline. So you would send the traffic to the same URL and then Google will recognize that that URL is part of the content experiment and it will split test and show some people one version of the of the landing page and it will show some people another ver version of the landing page. So before you get started, first you need uh, to come up with a hypothesis, uh, meaning you don't want to split test just for for the sake of split testing. You, you want to have an idea uh, and you, you have to think, okay, well, maybe this headline is going to work a little bit better than this other one or let's see how this image works rather than the other one. So you have to come up with an idea of what you think is going to work better. So once you have that, that hypothesis, then you have to create the variations. So in this case, I have created two split tests and I just did this for this experiment. So this one here says, if, if you're not a split test and you are a fool, I pity the fool who doesn't split test. So I'm trying to, to see whether that one is going to work better or maybe a variation of the headline. Now, here's something I would highly recommend. If you're doing a split test, unless it's your very first one and you have just no clue of what works best, uh, then keep the changes to a minimum. If it's your first split test and you have no clue, then you can just test two completely different landing pages. Uh, once you determine which one works best, then you can start tweaking the landing page. But you'll notice here that I'm changing the headline. So everything else remains the same. So now the headline goes to warning. Failure to split test will make you go broke. And that's unfortunately true. If you're not split testing your traffic on pretty much every aspect of your business, you're definitely leaving some money on the table. So I highly recommend that you implement this as soon as possible. Okay, so I have created my, my two variations. You'll notice here in the address, is everything is the same exact here. It says index.html and my second variation is called index2.html. You can call this whatever you want and you'll, you'll have to tell Google which pages you want to test. But I just kept it simple. I put uh, everything on the same di directory and just uh, changed the name slightly. You will also need to have a uh, a conversion page. The conversion page is the page where people go after they either sign up, they buy. Um, now a conversion doesn't necessarily have to be a landing page. Google allows you to uh, track conversions in many different ways but just to keep it simple we're going to make a landing page to be the conversion. Okay so here it says sweet here's the cool thing that I offered. You are very smart. So that would be my thank you page. So people would come here to the landing page, they put their email address and immediately get forwarded to the to the thank you page. Now obviously this wouldn't really work in the real world uh, or they're, they're not very user friendly. Uh, I'm just trying to prove the point and, and help you set things up. You'll have to put some additional work into making your landing pages and your squeeze pages a little bit better. Uh, but you can just follow along. Okay, so I have my two variations and I have my thank you page. My first thing to do is to tell Google what is my conversion. Okay, so Google needs to realize uh, that whenever people come here to this page, I've, I've made a conversion. I got a sign up, I got a sale. So under Google, uh, here we were uh, in the, I'm sorry, over here we were at the content experiments. Now you can actually go under admin, goals, and then you can create a goal. The goal is 
a, a conversion. You can have a goal funnel where you have to, the user has to take several steps, or you can just have a, a one step goal. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to say the goal name is, let's call it a lead, a lead. We want to make this goal active. And in this case, case is going to be URL destination. Notice how you can have a page, visit, visit uh, duration, uh, event. So we're setting up the URL destination and Google is asking you for a goal URL. So that is this over here. So in this case, this is my goal URL. But what we do here is strip away the domain name. So everything HTTP colon slash slash www dot your domain dot com gets stripped away. So notice the example. Here's my site dot com forward slash thank you. So you just enter everything uh, including the forward slash. You take away your domain. Okay, so that leaves us with samples forward slash split test thanks dot html. That is my goal URL. Now I don't need an exact match. Um, you just need a head match and depending on how your your software works you may need exact match or regular expression but in this case and in most cases I would recommend you just put the head head match now you can set up a goal value if you are actually selling a product and the person that landed to this page uh, gave you money you can actually put a number here that says how much uh, each conversion is worth to you so let's say that you are um, selling, I don't know, uh, co uh, dog training uh, package, a dog training video, and the video is thirty-seven dollars. So you would put thirty-seven here, and then Google can calculate how much revenue you're getting for each visitor, how much uh, revenue you're getting um, for each page view and it is really really cool what data you can get if you have a set price there for that conversion now you can use the funnel if you use the funnel basically it it tells Google okay first the first step is for them to come to this landing page the second step is going to be for the in more information the second step is the sign up page and the third step is this thing uh, and the fourth step is the thank you page but you don't need a funnel you don't have to have it so we're just gonna keep it simple and click off so you're basically counting a conversion for everybody that gets to this page and we save that that is a success so now we have this lead it's all set up that's perfect the next step is to go start the content experiment so under content again experiments we're going to tell Google which page we want to improve upon so this is my my control so I just copy this URL and I'm going to put it over here and notice how it already has the HTTP you can actually strip that away and Google went out and grabbed a copy of of what shows right now so I'm going to go ahead and put start experiment so the experiment name I would recommend you put something clear about what it is you're experimenting so let's say split test headline so I'm testing the headline in this split testing landing page. The original is already there. Now I need to give Google my first variation. Now notice you can always have uh, more than one variation to test, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have a lot of traffic because getting statistical data in a split test with more than two variations takes a lot longer. So don't do it unless you have a lot of traffic. So 
I'm sorry, uh, what I did here is copy the URL on the second uh, variation. Again, notice the number two here versus no number two, okay? So number two here, this is my second variation. Go back to Google and tell them this is my second variation. And when I switch over, Google goes out and gets the second one. So notice now, now you see the two variations here. And you can change the, the names. Some, sometimes I write the, the headline. And I just notice I have a misspelling there on my headline. Not really worried about it. That's not a landing page I'm actually going to use, but okay. So I have my two variations there. I don't need to add another variation, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the next step. Now I need to uh, tell Google what is a conversion. So you can either create a new goal at that point in time or use one that you have already created. Since we've already created one in this video, I just click down and select the one that we created. And then I tell Google, yes, go ahead and, and put 100% of the traffic that goes to that page through the test, or you can s select a different percentage. Now on your first run, if you have absolutely no clue of what works, I would recommend you go ahead and put 100% of your traffic through the test so you can figure out which one is your control. And then on the next split test, one you're try once you're trying to improve on the winner, then maybe take this down a little bit. So so you get the benefits from, from the, the better landing page and then you're using some of that traffic for the split test. Now keep in mind, the more traffic you send through experiment, the, the faster it, uh, it can give you uh, good data. So it actually needs a lot of data for it to calculate. Now, you don't need to send notifications or anything. I think this is all fine for now. And once you've set up your, your lead and your percentage, I'm sorry, your goal and your percentage, you hit next step. And then you can decide whether you have a webmaster that's going, going to be adding the, the code or if you're going to add the code uh, yourself. So if you need to outsource this, you will just select here and they're going to basically ask you for their email address and you'll set it up. But I'm going to talk you through the process of setting it up yourself. So the first thing you need to to make sure of is that you have the analytics uh, code installed. Now we don't have the analytics code installed on those so that's going to be the first step and you click on this little arrow to bring it up on a different page. You scroll down and you grab your analytics code. By clicking there it highlights the whole thing. You copy and then you go to your original file. Hopefully you have a FTP software and it tells you copy the following code then paste it immediately before the closing head tag. Easy enough. So you go into your folder and then you're going to need that before the head tag on each one of your three pages, the two controls and the, and the landing page. I'm sorry, and the thank you page. So you find the closing head tag, here it is. You see how it has that forward slash and then head. And I'm right before it and I click paste. I'm going to do that in all three of them. Same over here. Here's my my opening head tag and here's my closing head tag. So I go right before it, control V to paste, close it, save and upload. And the same over here on the thank you page. 
go down to the head right there so right before it paste close save and override and we're done the, the, all three of the pages here have the code so we go back to the experiment and now it tells you once you have the, the code then you have to paste the experiment code immediately before the opening head tag at the top of your original page this is very very important it has to be the original page so you copy the code you go back to your FTP software and remember here it says right after the opening head tag okay so you go back index is our control and before we looked for the closing head tag now it's the opening head tag this one right here is always very close to the top so we hit enter and uh, I paste that there close it save and upload it and we should have everything ready to go so now I'm going to hit next step and Google went went to each one of those pages in the crawler uh, to make sure that all the code is is correctly installed if you didn't have the code correctly installed then an X will come up here and says hey we couldn't find the experiment code we couldn't find the uh, analytics code it will tell you what the problem is and you'll just have to go back and fix it but in this case we did everything right hit excellent going back giving you the two variations and now you can go ahead and run the experiment so you click on run experiment and it tells you what's next well what's gonna happen is that all of your site's visitors will be included in the experiment and see either the original page or the variation and after we collect data for about 24 48 hours you you will start seeing the experiment report so it's really really cool because now what we've done here is with this experiment we're going to be able to determine which one of those headlines work better and that is one easy way that you can increase the overall profits of your business and your and what your website is doing for you by split testing every aspect so now think about the possibilities we can have a split test for your opt-in pages you can have a split test for your sales pages so I always talk about optimizing your sales funnel so now you have a way to optimize two of the of the aspects of your sales funnel the the landing page the opt-in page where you capture the lead and you can use the same exact strategy you learned in this video to optimize uh, sales pages so you could have for example a test for a different price point a different offer a different guarantee and it's all done very very easily with content experiments so i hope you've taken a lot of value from this video and of course if you have any questions at all do not hesitate to put your questions as a comment right underneath have an awesome day and thank you for watching.